Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Hands-On Scanning with Philips Healthcare New Zealand. I'm Andrew Hall, Account Manager New Zealand. We would like to introduce you to the latest Epic CVX with the new Insight Plus technology. I'd also like to introduce you to the new X51C transthoracic transducer. The structure of this afternoon's presentation will be on 2D imaging followed by 3D transthoracic scanning. We have a comments box which people can ask questions at any time. We have a panel of specialists available to answer these questions, including Professor Gillian Wally and Tegan Meredith, Phillips Modality Sales Specialist. Continuing on from Professor Gillian Wally's presentation, Clinical Application Specialist Rencha van der Waal will demonstrate some of the new AI features on the EPIC CVX, starting with the new Auto Measure feature. At the moment, I'm starting off with the parasternal long axis view to demonstrate the 2D auto measure function. On our parasternal long axis, please ensure that you do have a good ECG running so that the system is able to detect your end diastolic and your end systolic frames. Once happy, you hit freeze. The auto measures will appear on the touch screen with an asterisk by selecting our left ventricle internal diameter and diastole the system automatically jumps to the end diastolic frame and takes the measurements going to the systolic frame automatically detects the measurements and an ejection fraction is visible within seconds. Moving on down to the apical 5 chamber we'll now be demonstrating the Doppler auto measurement function. We hit freeze, we select the desired auto measurement from the touch screen. Small edits are still able to be made either in review or in real time. TomTech Advanced Analysis software has now been fully integrated into our cart based systems, the Philips Epic and Philips Affinity solutions. Rencher is now going to show the new LV AutoStrain, which uses Philips AI and TomTech's recognised strain software. The TomTech software is well recognised with hundreds of journal articles as reference. Auto view recognition and auto contour placement results in fast, robust and reproducible GLS measurements with a click of a button. Using the X-Matrix technology of the new X51C transducer, I'll be making use of the quick I rotate fly out option, which is available from the touch screen to acquire my three different apical views. Please note that I'm not moving my hand as we are acquiring these images. Once I have my images acquired, I then go into Review, I select my desired images and launch the AutoStrain LVQ app which is available from the touchscreen. And within a matter of seconds we have a global longitudinal strain result. From the 2D imaging, using the same transducer, we can now move into live 3D scanning. Once again, Rencha hasn't moved her hand. She is still in a four-chamber view, same transducer. One press of a button and we're now scanning in live 3D. The reference planes along the bottom of the screen are to make sure that the heart is in the sectors. Still in the same spot as an apical four-chamber view, we will now be doing dynamic heart model. Located on the touch screen, we have the heart model acquisition button. Once pressed, it launches a full volume of the left heart. We acquire this. Once acquired, we then go into review to select the desired image and launch the Dynamic Art Model Q app, which is located on the touch screen. The algorithm uses approximately 1,000 models to find the heart in the 3D volume using the outflow tracks, mitral, and tricuspid valves as landmarks. On the right hand panel, Please note that there are now end diastolic and end systolic volumes available for the left ventricle as well as left atrium, including the ejection fractions and also the results are indexed according to the patient's body surface area. 
Further analysis of the 3D data set in both toe and transthoracic scanning, there are multiple tools available. We now have the new 3D rendering software called TrueView. TrueView brings a unique level of realism to the live 3D. When used in combination with TouchView, users now have the ability to create a virtual light source which can be moved through the volume data set. This can help to increase the diagnostic confidence when it is used to enhance specific imaging features that are not optimally displayed by 3D conventional rendering, including delineation of orifices, borders, cavities, cardiac masses, including their attachments and structural abnormalities. Using the X51C transducer, I have now acquired a 3D transthoracic view of the mitral valve. We now want to show you Cardiac TrueView, which is a new 3D photorealistic rendering tool. It's also located on the touch screen. Once enabled, the touch view becomes available. And from this, further manipulation is available of the data set and editing of the data set. You can rotate the data set. You can pinch and zoom. I am then also able to touch anywhere on the touch screen and an independent light source will appear. We can then grab a hold of the light source and move it around the data set for additional information by adding a bit of shadow. We can then also change the depth of the light source with the rotary knob by pushing the light source to the back of the volume or bringing it back into the front. Using Collaboration Live, I will now give my modality sales specialist, Patrick Goodison, a call in Brisbane for his input on my 3D data set. Hi, Patrick. Good day, Richard. How are you? I'm very How well. I'm, uh, Australia. Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Would you be able to please assist me? I am struggling a bit to see my mitral valve orifice clearly. Would there be anything that you could suggest from your side, please? Absolutely, we can have a look. Can you just share your uh, screen control with me, please? Okay. I'm sharing, I'm giving you control as well. Lovely, I can see that coming up now. So I've got control of the system now, so I can bring up the control panel to look at any adjustments I need to interact with. But what I'll actually do is just bring up our virtual touch screen. So I'll close the control panel, bring up our touch screen, and I'm just going to activate glass, which is our tissue transparency feature. And I'll close that touch screen there so that we can see our image. And what you'll note there is just that edge definition. It just helps to make that uh, easy to see and, and highlight with that mitral valve data set there. So that's going to give you a good base to go from and making those further adjustments that you might need to on the system. How does that look now? Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Pat. That really helps a lot. Not a problem. Glad I could help. So you can make some further adjustments as you need on the system, but I'm glad I've been able to assist you uh, remotely in this instance. Hope you enjoyed this virtual launch of Epic CVX. Remember to post questions in the comments box. If we don't answer them straight away, we'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you for watching this video, and for further information, please contact your awesome Philips CV ultrasound team.